Thunderous Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And welcome back everybody to episode 22 of my Play With Thunder series. We are still working on the shapeshifter and it's been a shapeshifting week, so to speak. Uh, started off pretty rough and I got pissed off and those following me on Twitter kind of heard about it. Um, but I got things straightened out about three nights ago and I want to show you where I started and where I'm ending up. And I'm very excited to show you guys what I've got now. This is where I started, or actually I left off on episode 21. And also, too, I've been fucking around with my texture pack. Uh, see what you guys think about this shit. Uh, I'm still using Minecraft for kids, uh, but I've mixed in uh, some Von Doom. And that's courtesy of the new texture pack series that we've been using. Uh, we did a review on uh, me and Mr. McCraw. Uh, be sure to check that out if you haven't already. Uh, but I, I grabbed the stone texture out of that, and I grabbed the cobblestone, and uh, I think some of the wood too. I'll show you that here in a little bit. And then also, this is from Spax. So I'm mixing and matching, and I'm probably going to do something with the glowstone too. Uh, I just haven't got to it yet, uh, but I really like this a lot better. I uh, really, really like the stone texture pack. That's badass. Uh, but anyways, on to the shapeshifter. So this was the original departure station and I was gonna work on ravine run uh, that was the idea for this episode I told you guys a month ago I was gonna try to uh, bring these episodes a little bit closer together but uh, I've had some other pretty cool shit come to my channel and uh, I've been busy on that and then anyways beginning of this week I decided I want to get back to my play with thunder I want to get over here to the shapeshifter and get working on that and I got ready to start on ravine run and uh, I was like, fuck it, I don't have a really good departure station or arrival station. And there's some really awesome things and ideas that I had in mind that I wanted to do. Uh, so I wanted to go ahead and work on that first. So anyways, we are looking at, like I said, the original area. Now we're going to go look at uh, the second. All right, so now we're looking at attempt number two at the arrival departure station. Uh, as you can see, this is where we were standing just a few seconds ago, and I closed it all in. And this was working out really good, um, like I said, about three nights ago, until I run into a problem. Uh, I did have, uh, let's see here, I've got a switcher so you can uh, do Jungle Boogie or Ravine Run on a single cart. I set it up for a roller coaster using the trains that you can link together, and I did a tutorial, a uh, Railcraft tutorial on this. And that's what kind of sparked the idea to actually make this a roller coaster. And I was going to have nine carts um, depart, and you would be able to take one path or the other. And I was going to have jumps and all kinds of shit. And because you can't jump carts or linked carts, um, I had to separate the two. And I figured, well, I'll just do um, Jungle Boogie with the, uh, the roller coaster. And I'll do Ravine Run with the single rider. And it'll have jumps and all kinds of cool shit like that. Well, with a lot of testing and all that kind of shit, uh, I come to find out uh, the roller coasters or linked carts, um, they do not, they don't, they don't play nice. Uh, as long as you've got straight runs and really quick corners like this, it runs really, really good. Um, I got all the way up to here before I encountered, encountered the problem, and I was, uh, did I rip that? Yeah, I did. Um, when it hits these angle tracks like this, it gets about halfway through and it just it stops. It just dies. Um, so obviously linked cars, uh, the empty carts act like they're empty. Uh, so even though I've got me in the middle of that run, I've got the speed to get through it if it was a single cart. But being linked up, I've got six or eight other carts that are empty. So when they get halfway through, the uh, the mod thinks that you know the carts are empty and it slows down and stops, which really pissed me off. Um, that's that's what I was tweeting about the other night. Uh, at first, I thought it was maybe it was scrubbing this side, so I ripped out all the fence posts and I tried it again. And sure as shit, it still stopped about halfway up. And uh, then I got oh, there's the wood right there. Yeah, there it is. Cool. Isn't that sexy as fuck? Uh, anyways, so <laughs> back to what I was talking about. Um, so what what the, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh, the link carts. Yes. Uh, so I figured the the weight distribution. If I change the carts to um, the the mine carts that have the, the chest in them, that way each one had weight to it, it would react different. And it didn't. So that pissed me off. And I took the rest of the night off and just, I didn't fuck with anything. Uh, come back to it 
two nights ago, and let's take a look at what it looks like now. This is fucking awesome. All right, here is the final design. Uh, you guys have seen that, but now I have a cool walk down steps, and uh, there's a testing zone there behind me. I'll probably do a tutorial on this because this is really fucking awesome. Uh, and then I'll finish the outside once I clear that out of here. Uh, that wasn't really the main concern. But this is what I want to show you. This is really fucking exciting. I'm just oh, fucking hard on right now. And there's the departure area. I've got three separate tracks. And we're going to have Jungle Boogie, Ravine Run, and then I'm going to make a whole separate roller coaster with just the carts. That'll do just the quick turns and the, up and, uh, the ups and the downs like I was talking about. That way I can concentrate on the two single runs with using the elevator tracks and the jumps and all that kind of cool shit. So anyways, that's the departure area, and we'll walk down there in just a minute. And of course, this is the, is the arrival area. And I've done a lot of testing, and so far it's like 99% fucking flawless. Uh, I think I can use this on the server. Uh, once I get, uh, get back on there, I've been so damn busy. I feel bad for the, the people that's been on there playing because um, I haven't been on there in like a week and a half but the computer went down for two two days everything's rebuilt I was having some Java issues and uh, I think I got it back up and running now and everything's good I completely wiped the drives and started over and everything's running really smooth uh, here's the wood again uh, from the Von Doom and like I said I've got a single rider jungle, jungle boogie or ravine run and is what we do is we select up here with the lever either jungle boogie or ravine run so we're going to go ahead and select Jungle Boogie, and you push the button, as, and I'll show you behind this here in just a minute what makes this pretty cool about uh, using it on a server. Uh, you have assholes that will spam click that button, and you'll get like 50 cars out here, and I'll show you what I've come up with to um, alleviate that problem. But uh, there's a slight, uh, probably about a 15 second delay between, uh, between uh, carts, and, and that'll keep from... Um, the uh, cluster fucking too of the there it is okay I was getting worried the fucker wasn't gonna come out and then also it has a about a five second wait time and you don't have to push any buttons and it takes off and I've got an empty rider um, detector here so that or an empty cart rather so when it passes across here by default it's gonna go back to the return uh, this is a player detector god man I fucked that up yeah, it's a player detector. So if I was actually riding that, it throws the switch down here, switches the track, and allows me to pass on through. But by default, it's going to go back to the uh, uh, the return station. And I've, the two single ones go this way, and then the roller coaster goes uh, where is it? over this way. And I'll walk down here in just a minute. I just want to explain how it all works. Uh, so that way, if for some reason, again, uh, we'll talk about it being on the server, Somebody clicks the button and says, ah, I don't want to ride it, and the carts take off. Instead of ending up somewhere out on the track, it gets recycled. It goes back into the system. And we're going to go down here, and we're going to take a look at the system. This is the, the heart and the nerve central of, uh, of what happens up there. And, and I'll, I'll push some more buttons here in a few minutes, but I want to explain some more what goes on. Uh, anyways, these are the single returns here. They come down this track, and they go into... The cart dispenser and also too there's an empty cart uh, detector here so that when the cart it crosses it sends a signal to the cart detector picks it up and then it goes into the advanced loader goes into the uh, the, the cart the mine cart cart <laughs> mine cart 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 and sends it over here to the advanced unloader and loads it back into the train dispenser and the train dispenser has a pattern of one mine cart and this is just for jungle boogie and ravine run so uh, and then the buffer fills up you can you know put um, however many cars you want in there but right now that's all I've got in there so like I said if the cart goes out and nobody rides it it automatically comes back in here over here these 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 is where uh, we have the multiple car setup uh, there's a single setup here uh, which I haven't quite got wired in for just a one car system on the roller coaster side yet still trying to kind of figure that one out uh, but anyways I've got all the other ones work two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So I've got nine, uh, nine dispensers here, and they all reload the same way. They use the same thing I use over here. But when you get off of the uh, the roller coaster or the single rides and you come in, the cart is locked on a, a boarding rail upstairs. 
and which is right here. So it comes in and it sits on the boarding rail. What, what's the boarding rail? That's a disembarking uh, track there. And how that works is, uh, well, let me explain this first. All right, you got the boarding rail here first and it stops and the car will not move until you get out and you walk over the panel and if you had one cart or you had five carts or you had nine carts, whatever it is, however many riders you had, you press that button. And again, there's a, about a 10 second delay and I can adjust that. I was just doing some testing with it. Um, the button goes off, uh, lights up the boarding track, sends the cart or the carts on their way, goes downstairs, and I have the uh, fucking oh the motors. Uh, God damn it! What the fuck are those called? Something motors, switch motors. Okay, guys. So, anyways, <laughs> I had to look it up. Couldn't remember what those are called. The switch motors um, are connected to the back of the buttons. So, whatever cart or riders that you select. It goes down underneath, and I've got it all, all the wires hidden nice and pretty. But it will select the amount of riders for the carts. So if you selected one, this one will go off to the track switcher, and it will hold for about 10 or, 10 or 12 seconds, long enough for the cart to come back down, come in here, and then enter back into the system, which is actually this is one, but whatever. Anyways, and this is two, three, four, all the way down through. So each cable uh, that you pick corresponds to a motor switch and I'm going to put an overrun over here because uh, right now if you don't pick anything the carts come all the way through and they slam into the wall uh, so if somebody picks the roller coaster and it takes off and nobody's riding it and it comes back around it's slamming into the wall so is what I'm going to do is I'm going to put another train uh, dispenser or with a minecart system like this and that'll be the uh, the overrun and then like every once in a while you can come down and empty it or whatever the fuck I was trying to figure out how to run it into some lava uh, with the mine carts being full, uh, have it roll back like from uh, like I did on my Pez dispensers. <sighs> but I can't figure out how to do that because there's no way to uh, actually figure out if the mine cart dispensers are full um, or empty. So it's just going to pick them up and send them through. And then the same thing here, if they're full or empty, there's no way to actually detect that. Um, if there was, then uh, I could control. Uh, the carts coming in and out, if, you know, and put an overflow on there anyways. Uh, so that's how that works. Um, okay, this over here, these are state cells. And it's what they do is when you press the button, um, and we're going to press, actually let's press one. Uh, we're going to go press that one. All right, as you can see, the signal goes through and it's got a timer on it. Uh, so if I come back here and I press it again, the timer starts all over again. The signal's not set. So if somebody sits here and spam clicks this thing, it's not going to send the card out. So right now it's got a 20 second timer on it and that gives enough time for the cart to come through, somebody to get into it, and then the cart to go on its way. Uh, which uh, There's a delay up there on uh, the main tracks too of about I think 10 seconds. So it's about 30 seconds total. So even if they spam click this immediately after that 20 seconds and it sends the next cart, the one up there should be long gone whether there's a rider on it or not. Uh, so that'll be really helpful on the server uh, and then I've got the same thing actually I used on uh, the dispensers too um, or the return system and I'll show you that uh, it's over here and I did the same thing and I put time delays on those of 22 seconds and that is for uh, I know there's a lot of here somewhere I'm gonna fucking fly through it and burn uh, is what that does that holds the uh, the motor switch or the track switcher motor open long enough for the carts to come through and go into here and then they open back up so uh, that's why I've got a time delay on this side too this is really cool <laughs> uh, um, up under here uh, let me bust this out so you can see uh, let me throw some torches up all right this is for the boarding rails here and they're all connected and they go down here and is what you have to do when you're using the bundled cable and you're using any colored cables uh, if you don't stop the signal with a repeater because that's the only thing that'll keep the signal from going back in um, these will actually become one just like the bundled cables so if I pressed the white cable upstairs or line number one if these were all redstones right here it would connect into all the other ones and they would all fire so yeah, uh, you have to stop the signal with using uh, the repeaters. 
and then on the other side then you can join it into one wire and they will all function as one and that's that's the only way I know how to do that shit otherwise you got some nasty problems I did that up here and I had a butt fuck load of cars all over the place uh, because I didn't realize that when I was sending a single single a sing, single single Jesus you know what I'm saying to each one of these dispensers I also need to send a signal up to the forward part up here uh, for the boarding rails uh, so I had to do the same thing uh, I've got all the, the bundle cables the single cables and then joined them into one brought them around and I've got a double delay on here and again the state cells work um, when I got a button here I'll show you all right when it comes in this stays hot going out that way uh, so when the timer reaches here that goes off and it sends a quick pulse through and you'll see it here in just a second and there's the delay now that's the boarding rail um, um, lights that up and the cars can take off so you got your wait time and then you've got your takeoff time and that stays open long enough to have nine carts cross it and then lock back up that way the next set of carts that come out will stop on the boarding rail so hopefully that makes sense um, I'm still working down here um, and we'll walk through here so you can so you can kind of take a look at it. I got some pretty cool pillars going on here uh, and it's the same thing on the departure area and the arrival area will have uh, basically the same thing we're gonna have a, uh, a weight uh, like two carts uh, if, you get, if there's any in the station these will lock out and you can't go any further until those carts move and I'll show you how I've got that set up I've already figured out that solution too and then you have emergency buttons if uh, somebody's coming in behind you and they haven't moved you'll be able to click this and the carts that are sitting in the station will take off and then you'll move to these will lock out and the next set of carts will come in behind you um, that's where the 99% flawless thing comes in at because um, I, like I said it works but you, you got to be watching behind you if somebody else comes along too so let's go out here all right guys so here's the mock-up uh, area that I've been testing on and I'm probably gonna do a tutorial on this because this is really kick-ass um, so I mean go ahead and tell me down in the comment section that you want it but you're probably gonna get one anyways because uh, I think this will be really helpful for uh, people that's using Railcraft on their servers uh, but what I have it's the same system in here just uh, just a single system instead of uh, nine but I've put a button in and I've got an indicator light that lets the know uh, lets you know upstairs that the signal has been sent to the uh, dispenser now here's where the, the, the spam clicking comes in see it resets the uh, the state cell and it will not send the signal to the box until it makes it all the way through so if somebody, some asshole stands there and just clicks the shit out of this they're never gonna get a cart but if you wait until that whatever that time delay is and as soon as that goes we'll get the second light that means it's been dispensed and I'm gonna spam it right afterwards right there did you see it light up here now we have an indicator light there number three means the carts are at the station and these will be long gone even though the signal is almost being sent right now there it goes now it's gonna send the next set and what happens here is we need to get these the hell out of there uh, okay all right these carts will come through and they'll wait at the station and these are coming in to the minecart uh, dispenser and then your second set of carts are being held up here by the flip-flop so if there's any carts in the station that automatically turns the flip-flop off when this crosses over this it reverses it and opens this back up again so we'll uh, we'll watch that so we'll go ahead and push the uh, the main button here and these carts will take off and there's the signal being sent to the flip-flop allowing these carts to come in and then that turns off by the time it reaches back here and these go back into the dispenser so that's pretty cool that's how the um, the backup system will work if you've got more than uh, two sets of uh, players riding around on the tracks God, that's a lot of shit isn't it um, but anywho uh, all right the next thing I want to show you is how it works uh, splitting the signal up to the switch motors and going into the separate tracks and I kind of explained that down there uh, the signal comes down you have to split it with repeaters um, and I've got two different signals need to be sent one signal needs to be sent to the timer and the switch and the other one has to be sent to the boarding rail to launch the cart 
and then same thing right here I've got a, a wait time and then a, a, um, a boring rail time and that's that's the the block right there so and we go around here and again we'll watch it and well, let's uh, flip this that way I can flip my switch down and we're gonna pick number three down there so you choose number three and as you can see three has lit up and it's opened and that will stay open as long as that timer is there and the cars will make their way and this is a little slow because I don't have quite the boost there but it's just enough where it makes it uh, so the further away you get the more uh, the longer signal you'll have to have and that's what I was trying to explain downstairs over here your your state cell when this opens up this stays solid so we want to use this side here to hold this open instead of running it straight through because that would be just a, a quick pulse signal uh, so those are really handy those are awesome just probably one of the best things with railcraft right there that and of course the uh, the holding rails those are super awesome super sexy uh, so anyways that's the boarding area um, or the whole rival station the whole kit and fucking caboodle and this is the new shapeshifter guys so i hope hope you guys like this shit uh like i said i'm really excited about it uh those who uh, follow me on twitter uh, have been you know kind of hearing about this all week and uh so they kind of get their you know the, the the first dibs on jag of what's coming up for my schedules and stuff like that so if you haven't followed me on twitter and you want to go ahead and uh, get in there and get signed up and follow me um you get like i said a lot of uh, updates that uh, instead of waiting for well, what's Jag uploading this week or you know, what am I working on? I usually tweet out uh, every day uh, I usually group tweet one or two at a time three at a time and let everybody know what's coming up for the week and what I'm working on um, That way you don't you don't have to sit around and wonder So anyways guys uh, really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, thanks for all the support uh, We're still pushing forward We're getting a shitload of subs a lot of support on the uh, the new series the texture pack series, uh, the A-frame house tutorial, the build it better series. Um, every one of them, you guys are doing an outstanding job supporting me um, and my channel and, of course, those who I bring to it. Uh, and, again, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And uh, that's it for Episode 22 of Play With Thunder. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, and we'll catch you on the next one. Later.